When John Morgan was born, the year was 1923 and Calvin Coolidge was president. World War I, and interestingly, a global pandemic had just ended. It's amazing to think that it was just shy of 100 years ago. John passed away on January 14th of 2022, and in that near century, he was able to dream into reality a legacy that will live on, we think, into perpetuity. If you go about it the way that John did, you can touch the hearts of lots of people in a century's time. And John was a master at touching people's hearts. He made you feel like you were the most important person in the room. He made you feel like you were awesome and that he was really interested in you. But John is a person that loves people in every way. He loves anybody, everybody, and few people in this world loved people like John Morgan did. In the mid-1980s, John owned a local hotel, and one day he and some friends were sitting around trying to figure out how to get people to come to St. George, Utah and stay a while. Several ideas were bounced around, and the one that stuck was an Olympic-style sports festival for senior athletes. That idea became a dream, and that dream became his life's mission. He assembled a team, and they got to work. And in 1987, the first games were held. The early days were tough going, but with high hopes and a lot of determination, John kept working on that dream. From humble beginnings to worldwide recognition, over the years, hundreds of thousands of athletes and their families have had their lives bettered by the Huntsman World Senior Games. John loved the games. They were, I think, his existence. He was interested in making a healthier lifestyle for seniors and he caught the vision. And because he caught the vision, he made us catch the vision. He wanted the games to succeed no matter what. He truly believed that he could make a difference in people's lives, and he did. When you create a thing that means so much to so many people, you kind of enter hero status. John was a hero, not because of what he did, but because of how he did it, with class, with kindness, and with love. John was truly unique. He was a -a one-of-a-kind kind of guy that has made a difference in each of our lives. As John looks down on us tonight, I know he'd be proud. He'd think tonight was just wonderful. He'd be grinning from ear to ear, and he'd know that his dream was in good hands. Because it's in our hands. And he believed in us. John, thanks for everything. We'll miss you.